There are some things that I think we really need to address. Um, for some time now, I've been talking about the energy of the time. The energy of the time, again, is the Aquarian energy. It is the energy of enlightenment. It is the energy of the breakdown of old order. It is balanced by the Leo, the Leo, the father, the discipline. Now, if we are not disciplined, that is self-discipline, if we do not allow the energy of the father into our being, then the breakdown of order you will be at its mercy. Now I say this to you, turn on your TV set any day and watch any talk show and you will see the breakdown of order. You will see the breakdown of rule. Now, <clears throat> the time of the fishes is over. That is the time of the Jesus. The time of that message in a sense now, not totally. Because the truth has run through this thing forever. But the point of it is that there is a new position in the cosmic year. A new position. Therefore, other secrets are coming to bear. There, in the next few years, there are going to be very few left. The numbers on this planet are going to become very small. The planet has to right itself. We have torn out its lungs. We've torn out its bloodline. We've destroyed it, or in process of destroying it. And like any vermin, when you are infested by vermin, what do you do? Yes. Fumigate, get rid of, purge. That is what the earth is going to do. Now, out of those few who will be left are those with knowledge. with knowledge. I'm talking to you this way because if you will look around, the time is fast approaching. Fast approaching. It's no longer in a slow road. It's no longer at the beginning of the drive-by. It's getting ready to open fire. Knowledge. Knowledge has always been the key. Knowledge of what? knowledge of self. Knowledge of self, of the absoluteness of who you are. The absoluteness. No dogmas. There's no room for beliefs. Knowledge comes from the word no. It is called knowledge to know. To know, not to guess, not to believe. Believe leaves room for doubt. And in the, this 2,000 year period, there will be no room for doubt. I'm saying this to you right here, right now, because there are a lot of things that I'm hearing from people. And I've become very short and very nasty. You know how nasty I can be. I can be as nasty as I can sweet. 
I can be real nasty. All right? And I'm not nasty out of nastiness. I'm nasty out of severity. Severity of the time. I have to look you right in the eye now and tell you the absolute truth, whether it hurts your feelings, it hurts your, your religion, it hurts your sex, it hurts your whatever. It doesn't matter. All that matters when it gets right down to this time, this part of the battle, all that matters is truth. You see, the generals in the war, the generals or the president can sit in Washington and discuss with the chief of staff. That's because the war is far away. Your field general or your general who's running it from the field, he still sits back and he's still away from it. And it is not imminent. But your foot soldier, he doesn't have time to philosophize. He doesn't have time to believe. He has only time to know and to act, or time or to die. We must decide who we are going to be. See, we've played for a long time. We played general. We philosophized. It's time now to act. It's time now to do. In war, and it is war. You have to act. Truth does not say, the bullet headed for the spot between your eyes doesn't say, oh, excuse me. But I, I, you know, I'm just going to put a small hole here. Don't, don't worry about it, though. It doesn't say that. That bullet is truth. Just like that. Wisdom says that you and I must take truth however it comes. However it comes, and you must be able to discern the truth. Now, how do we do that? You can only discern the truth when you have stripped away all the lies of your individuality. I say lies of your individuality. Now, I didn't say you weren't individuals. You are and you are not. But we get to that later. <laughs> the lies of who you are will color that absolute truth. And I have seen many a man die because they wouldn't deal with the truth. I've told you the story before in Nam, walking through the camp with my diaper. <laughs> Every weapon known to man. <laughs> Hadn't had a bath in quite a while, so I kind of smelled ripe, you know. And I walked past the general and the colonel, and the colonel said to the general, he said, hey, he said, that airman didn't salute. The general said, shh, leave him alone. That's a good soldier. What he was doing was saving the colonel's life. That's exactly what he was doing. The colonel didn't look in here and see who he was talking to. The general did. A killer, an absolute killer, a man so angry, raised in Mississippi, totally and absolutely hostile, taken and frontal and taught and told, it's okay to kill. It's all right, man, go, go, take some stuff, go kill some little yellow people. He didn't look in those eyes. You have to be able to take the truth when you see. from wherever, because it's about your survival. It's about your survival. You survive as an individual. Mankind survives as a group. Individuals make up groups. Responsibility to the whole, and the whole responsible to the individual. The strength of the wolf is in the pack. The strength of the pack is in the world. So now, if you are to know truth, what you must do is shave away all that that is not truthful within yourself. See, religion is not about them. Religion is about me. Religion is about us as an individual. It is about 
your salvation. It is about your peace. It is about your knowing the truth. I say a lot of things to you. I say some filthy, nasty stuff. I want you to know something. I want you to know the truth about who you are. <laughs> On this planet, we have animals, vegetables, and minerals. There is no other. I am an animal. I am here purely as I was made to defend myself, to be just, to be honorable, and to be truthful. That is what I'm here to do. I am an animal. Okay? At any time I take that away from myself, I put the shades of darkness over my eyes. Because I have now denied who I am. When, when they come, whoever they may be, who do I want standing next to me? I want the eye of the tiger. <laughs> standing at my right hand, at my left hand, and at my back. I don't want a pimp. And I say I don't want a pimp because a pimp is a leech. A pimp lives off of us, off of their courage, off of their whatever it is that he can steal for himself. No. I want one who knows his true nature. And his true nature is to defend self and self being those who are like, who are like in consciousness, who are like in ideas. And if you don't know the truth, I got to defend you. I got to turn around and be trying to, Oh, now, it's all right, baby, and I get shot in the back. No, I'm going to say later. Please do. Well, I ain't going to make it no way, because it's like, in this universe, this is a predatory universe. The weak is always the first eaten. But let me tell you, my friends, you are what you eat. And if you eat the weakest... <laughs> It only makes you weak. You learn to stand for that which is true. And you stand for it. No matter who, no matter what. You stand for that which is true. Those who don't know will constantly try to tell you what is true. I had to give a preacher my card the other day. <laughs> Come on down to the church. No, no, no. I can't do it, Reverend. <laughs> I'm a responsible man. I can't do that. What do you mean you're a responsible man? You can't do that. I've heard you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I uh, see. Go ahead and do what you do. You know, do what you do. It's, it's cool by me. But it seems to me that you don't want what I do to be cool by you. Now, one of us has stepped across the line. One of us is godly and one is not. I wonder which one. I wonder. He said, well, brother, people often don't know when they need the truth. And I said, oh, that's true. Here's my card. <laughs> Come and see me. <laughs> <laughs> my point is that cannot stand with me God helps those who help themselves if we're in a fight I don't want you down on your knees going oh Lord I want you standing up with your eyes open that is the reality that is the pragmatic reality of what is happening now that is the respect of that which is true. See, but this feeling comes up inside of me and I start to shake. I say, yeah. How about that feeling? How about that joy of life? How about that energy of life? How about that energy of being alive? And so, oh, but it makes me want to pee on myself. Every animal, when it is filled with fire, pees a little bit. It's marking its territory. Saying, all right, come up in here, Jack. <laughs> it's going to be me and you. <laughs> so that's all right. You're an animal. Your body is meant to do that. 
It's saying goodbye. Can't you see I'm peeing? <laughs> Your body speaks. Huh? I said, but if you don't turn it against yourself, you rise. I don't know about you, but when it rises, I start to smile. I start to get happy. I said, now, we going to fight? <laughs> we we going to do this. And they start saying, well, um, uh, this is about life. Death is your best friend. Death is your best friend because death will teach you to live. If you accept death, if you pay attention to it, it tells you you better live now while you can because tomorrow somebody could be peeing. Okay? And you'll be in trouble. Okay? Now, now, now. Truth. You have to know truth by uncovering the truth within you. Why is it oil and water don't mix? Because they are not the same kind. Truth mixes with truth. Truth does not mix with lie. You want them to mix? You have to put water with water. When was the last time you saw anybody building a fire putting water on it? Doesn't work like that. Now. How do we do that? You gotta listen carefully. Everything demands a strategy. If you're gonna succeed, you must have a strategy and you must be focused. There are two questions. What and how? That's all you wanna know. What is it I have to do? And how do I do it? If you hit a stumbling block, what is the next question you ask? What is the stumbling block? How do I fix it? There is a strategy for enlightenment. The question is, are we prepared to execute the strategy? I'm saying this to you because there's not much time. Okay? Everybody can't make it. Everybody is not going to make it because they're lazy. They're lazy. And then they scary. Okay, well, that's cool. Well, I once went to the Grand Canyon. And the guy was standing at the Grand Canyon. He was talking about, yeah, people fall off in here. And I'm thinking, hey, <laughs> it's the Grand Canyon, man. <laughs> How can you, I mean, what were you doing? What was he doing? He didn't see it. Didn't see the hole, right? <laughs> and then he made another statement. He said, "Anybody that stupid don't need to reproduce themselves anyway. <laughs> so let them fall off in there. So anybody that stupid is to not want to liberate themselves, then <sighs> there's a pain in my heart and a tear in my eye." That's mixed with joy, because you get the opportunity to do it sometime again. Another thousand times. Another thousand. The key then is discipline to hold fast to the rules of what you want to achieve. That's the key. I have given you enough technique, so if you can't do one technique, you do the next technique. If you can't do that one, you do the next one. See, I got you. Because I gave you a technique for everything under the sun that you can think of. Why? Because I know how your mind works. Because <laughs> I was there. I know how the mind would say, oh, <laughs> just one small shot of tequila won't hurt. And you're drinking out of fifth bottle. <laughs> well, maybe one more shot. No. A man years ago offered me a job. This was back in, I guess, the 60s. He said, we'll pay you $20,000 a year. And I said, no, thank you. He said, 30. No, thank you. He said, 35. Come on, 40. 45. I'll pay you $45,000 a year. This is back in the 60s. No, it wasn't him. <laughs> He said, why? I said, because I'm a responsible man. He said, well, what does that mean? I said, I don't want to do the job. 
Why should I take your money? And I know I'm going to take the money and I'm not going to do the job. I am a responsible person. I can't take the job. I can't take the one drink. I'm a predator. I can't kill just one. I got used to it. And I like the action. That's just the truth. Okay. All right. Oh, can I kill just one, just one little one? No. <laughs> Oh, man. I have to be in control of who I am. I cannot deny who I am. See, we want to deny. And that's part of the problem in this process that you run into. You want to deny certain things about yourself. No. You have to accept things about yourself. Yes, I do this. Because if you don't, when you least expect it, a hand reaches up and grabs your foot just when you're getting ready to make that break and pulls you down. You say, well, why? Why now? Why this? Because you denied it was there. 